Hello there, guys, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. My name is Coach Shadogs to Born Bird, built for Theme Park News, and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update where today we're going to be looking through Alton Towers Resort and we're going to be looking through uh, their events schedule. We've still got more details to come from two events a brand new summer event and the Mardi Gras, which we did a separate video for on this channel. So go and check out that video if you haven't already. And before we get started, guys, before we look at the event schedule and share it on your screen uh, as well uh, make sure you like comment subscribe click the notification bell so you never miss another youtube video go and check out the uh, links in the description for twitter tiktok instagram snapchat uh the discord server and also go and check out the link for your google forms where you can submit your video ideas and content suggestions don't forget guys we're on the road we're apparently set to on track to hit 4,000 subs and a million views by the end of this year so make the dream come true guys and for now we're going to look at the event schedule for 2021 at the Alton Towers Resort let's go so the event schedule is quite massive the six events lined up for the 2021 season starting off between the 22nd of may and the 20th of june it is of course mardi gras uh, we did a full video on that but we'll give you the, the description of the area of the, of the event um it, instead anyway uh join us in getting the summer vibes going with a mardi gras inspired takeover that will dazzle you with an explosion of colors sounds and much more keep your eyes peeled for more information so again just nothing nothing too much to shout about with that uh now the ultimate summer of fun during the summer holidays get ready to celebrate the great british summer with a megatastic twist more details coming soon so again we're going to get more details on the ultimate summer of fun uh, which could be very interesting indeed. Next up, between the 11th of September and the 3rd of October will be Alton Towers Oktoberfest returning for a second successive season. Enjoy thrillful rides as darkness falls, delightfully themed entertainment for all ages, and try some utterly delicious food, all that in a cheerful family from the atmosphere with a German twist. So Oktoberfest really is the place to be if you love Germany, and um, it's going to be a brilliant event once again. I'll share my thoughts a little bit on that uh, news that it's coming back um, uh, in a little bit next up Scarefest from the 8th to the 10th of October and then the 15th to the 31st it will run this year uh, at the nights get shorter tiptoe into Alton Towers Resort for all sorts of creepy scares shocks and thrills expect spines to be tingled I will release a separate video in the in the next month or two predicting my Scarefest lineup before the official summer months kick in and we get the official announcements around your July August time which is usually when the Scarefest lineup comes out so we'll give you a prediction video before that day uh, from the 5th to the 6th and then the 7th of November we have the fireworks event coming back of course it took a year off because of COVID but it's, it's, it's set to return apparently according to the events guide uh, for a fireworks display dazzling enough to make your jaw drop and your eyes pop there's only one place to be Alton Towers Resort so we'll talk a little bit more of that, about that in a little bit about my thoughts on the fireworks coming back but finally during December Christmas get ready to celebrate the next magical wonderful time of the year with a Santa sleepover or a day visit to our brand new Christmas market so they've officially confirmed the Christmas market on the events guide um, it's very very exciting from that point of view however this is not the first time uh, I've heard stuff about Christmas now I did manage I, I did want to do a separate update on this but I might as well say it now while I've got the time um, Alton Towers released a survey go round and basically um, there was loads of Christmas activities being mentioned there was diff there's a couple of different scenarios like in terms of promotion wise would you what would you like what would you dislike etc uh, so I'm gonna give you sort of a uh, a rundown of everything that was mentioned through both routes of the Christmas activities they want you to take a survey with um, so uh, towers wonder of festive delights the towers Christmas market the ice rink the garden lights walk twinkling stars season food seasonal food and drink and seasonal entertainment and then on route two it had the seasonal entertainment the seasonal food and drink the christmas markets the wonders of festive delight and then the ride selection which was see bb's land and gangster granny the ride the brand new dark ride opening this year in 2021 on may 17th and unmentioned from those routes sort of uh, sort of overall was character meet and greets pantomime show and a visit to santa so uh we heard on the events guide the christmas market seems like 
people are a big fan of that. There used to be Christmas markets years and years ago. Um, but it's great to hear that they're going to be coming back. There was other things mentioned on here that I'd like to see. The ice rink, things like that. We're going to discuss all of that uh, with my thoughts right about now. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Seeks of All Ages. That is looking at the events guide for 2021 at the Alton Towers Resort and showing a little bit on the survey. Bring it in, bring in the audience, bring it in. I'm doing the lasso behind the camera because I'm, I'm being dragged in. I'm being dragged in by the Alton Towers Resort. It's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, first of all, let's talk about the other events before we focus on Christmas and the survey, etc. Um, starting off with Mardi Gras. I've shared my thoughts on this already. I love the sound of this. I cannot wait. You saw me partying on the camera. Da, 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 um, but yeah, it's going to be a magical party down at the Old Towers Resort. I expect some stuff to be on the front lawn like it is for Oktoberfest, which we'll get into in a bit. Um, I expect a lot of things going on, on the front lawn. I expect some things to go around the rest of the park. Uh, maybe they use, um, I don't think the indoor attractions open till July, so maybe, um, I mean, unless I'm wrong, maybe they're going to use some of the, the spaces, so maybe some of the empty buildings, so maybe they might use the outside of Nemesis Subterra and have like a, a stall or something, like a Mardi Gras stall, sort of in between the entrance sign to Nemesis Subterra, you know, before you go through into the queue line. Sort of how like a stall coming out of there. Not very Forbidden Valley, but if you make the stall look like Forbidden Valley and sort of give Forbidden Valley that Mardi Gras touch a bit, it would be lovely to see that, wouldn't it? But I do expect most of the stuff to happen at the front of the park. I do expect things like the front lawn stuff, maybe a tent set up and have like have like a Mardi Gras uh, parade as well. Like a, you see what Disney do with their parades, like the uh, Disney. Um, I can't remember the name of it. Wonderful World of Disney parade and. Um, there was the what I can't remember the name of the parade, but there's a song like "Magic Everywhere," "Magic Everywhere," that kind of par that parade where you see all the characters going by on floats and things like that, or walking around in these giant things. That would be nice to see if you could pick out one area to the other and do a parade at a certain time. Block off, well, not really block off the pathway, but sort of keep people to the side, if you know what I mean, um, and keep certain people in a certain area because of COVID restrictions. But I could see like parade being done, so. It's going to be brilliant. Um, Ultimate Summer Holidays event. Ultimate Summer of Fun. Um, very exciting. We don't know much about this yet. I'd like to see some stuff come back for that. You see, do you remember in the old classic days of Alton Towers when they did like the Adrenaline Weeks? It'd be nice to see that come back, you know. It'd be really nice to see that come back. And, um, you know, maybe do what they did. I think they did it like 2005, something like that. Uh, I remember, I think they did years and years ago. They had like some, they had like a British, Great British Summer Day or like Great British Holiday Day where they had like a, uh, they had like a sand pit or a beach thing with these giant deck chairs and things like that. They had like a, a classic beach kind of vibe going on at the park at one point uh, years and years ago during the noughties, I think it was. So um, maybe bring that, bring that beach vibe to the, to during the, the summer holidays. And, I mean, I do expect maybe the Big Six Challenge, Big Seven Challenge to sort of come into the park again. I think that the Big Six Challenge worked in, in past years, so I'd like to see that come back. Maybe bring some viral stuff into it. Maybe incorporate TikTok or something into it. Don't do what Pop Sander Pan nearly did and create a TikTok area. And now they're going to think about retheming everything with that one. But um, don't go full TikTok-themed area, but go like, like maybe bring the viral stuff into it. Get the social media platforms involved. Get them cooperating. Involve social social media in a positive way um and overall i think the summer holidays should be very very hot and very very fun um octoberfest lovely couldn't fault it uh it looked amazing I, I, I really wish i could have gone last year uh but i think because of the travel etc i don't think i would have been able to but um hopefully i'll be able to do it this year if not if it's coming back next year then definitely um while it's here um classic german festival class i'm, I'm sure they did like a beer garden or something like there was you know last year uh, I'm sure there's going to be like a place where you can buy loads of pints and you can bet your lucky backside I'd get a pint or two there. Um, could you imagine some of the people j drinking all those pints and riding the smiler drunk or something? They would have seen all those faces and thought, why are they smiling? Um, I don't know what people are like intoxicated, but comment down below what you're like when you're drunk, because I've never been drunk. But um, no, in all seriousness, Oktoberfest, wonderful event. Um, I think that overall it looks amazing. I think that uh, the theming's incredible. The bunting around the park could be incredible. And the, the the people in the German clothing is brilliant as well. So overall, very, very good event. 
Scarefest. Um, again, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, I think that's the only way to describe it, to be honest. Uh, absolutely wonderful. Um, and, you know, like I said, the prediction for the mazes will come out, um, you know, in, in a month or so. So stay tuned for that, for more on that. But um, overall, you know, do I expect Project 42 to come back? At this stage, before we film the video in a month or so's time, no. Do I expect the Subterra building to be used at some point in, in the permanent future? Maybe. Uh, depends on indoor attractions and COVID and stuff like that. But I'd like to see something done with that uh, permanently. But, you know, I don't think I see Project 42 coming back. Do we see any mazes going? I'll to ch stay tuned in a month or so to find out. But um, overall, Scarefest should be very good indeed. The fireworks, great to see that come back. It was it was not done last year. It was delayed from last year due to COVID. But it's great to see it come back uh, this year uh, after the year off. Uh, I expect some dazzling storytelling, some wonderful uh, lighting packages. Obviously, the front lawn will be the central focus with the towers in the in the forefront and things like that. Um, and it's kind of interesting in a way that we're talking about fireworks because usually by then we'll know what's or, or we know that at least something new is coming in 2022 or like the following year if it's any other year like um, we know with the fireworks from 2012 from example we knew that Secret Weapon 7 was coming with the fireworks in 2013 we knew that CBB's land was coming well we knew it was a new themed area and then it was gradually announced to CBB's land um, so you know, hopefully by then we'll know what 2022 will bring to the Alton Towers Resort in terms of new attractions. Oh, nearly dropped my phone there. Uh, we know what 2022 could bring for new attractions at the Alton Towers Resort by the time the fireworks hits us. Uh, so it should be very, very interesting indeed. Uh, finally, the Christmas stuff. Now, this is where it gets very exciting because um, I feel like there's some brilliant stuff that they could do. The ice rink, uh, some... Um, you know, projection mapping packages on the towers itself and make it look like a festive wonderland. Santa maybe going down this sleigh. An extended ride lineup. That's something I want to see. I don't want to see just CBB's landing against the ground of the right. I also want to see maybe a couple of coasters or so. Maybe like Spinball Wizard. Maybe... I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> um, maybe you could get Forbidden Valley up and room. Maybe Nemesis and Galactica if you could do. But um, just something for the thrill seekers as well. Because I'd like to see some thrill seeking stuff in this winter wonderland. Especially if it's not too cold. Because you've got to measure the weather of it. So if it's, if it's not too cold, run a couple of the thrill coasters as well. But when it's cold and there's no other choice, you run CBB's Land, you run Mutiny Bay, excluding the water rides, of course. And uh, Gangster Granny the Ride, obviously, Alton Towers, the new dark ride for this year. Uh, I'd run that as well. I think that's what we're looking at here. In terms of ride selections, I think they'll stick to the survey and they'll go with just CBB's Land and Gangster Granny the Ride. No matter whether it's hot or cold, no matter whatever the weather, they'll go with CBB's Land and Gangster Granny the Ride as their ride selection anyway. Uh, so I'm under no illusions of that. It's just a dream selection for me personally for other attractions, but we'll see. Um, and overall, just very, very good. Seasonal entertainment, seasonal food and drink, uh, gift shopping, visiting Santa Claus. Who doesn't love a visit from Santa? You know, who, would, who wouldn't love a visit from Santa? But um, overall, the Christmas range, I think arguably this could be their best ever Christmas event, especially with the, the markets coming back potentially an ice rink, potentially um, some other stuff as well, like the projection mapping on the towers and walking past the towers. I think this is probably the first year as a theme park enthusiast where I'm like, you know what? I wouldn't mind coming down for Christmas. I wouldn't actually mind coming down for Christmas. And, um, you know, obviously not Christmas Day because I'm with the family, but, um, you know, in terms of Christmas events, you're sort of looking at it and think, well, hang on a minute. This is actually the one Christmas year where I think, you know what? I'd love to do it. I'd love to go down and experience the entire Christmas event. But uh, there we go, guys. That is the event calendar for 2021. Subjects change from government guidance at the Alton Towers Resort. 
Um, there we go. Load of events going down. Obviously, we're going to wait on more details for the summer event and the Ma and the more details on the Mardi Gras event. We're also going to look at Scarefest predictions in a month or so time. So stay tuned for that one. Big, big video. That'll be coming uh, alongside the Thought Park Fright Nights predictions, the Chessington Halloween predictions, um, the York Maze Hell Screen predictions. Um, not really going to do a prediction video on any others because Yorkshire Scaregrounds are announcing stuff. Confirmed. Donny Fear Factory, Donkster Fear Factory, here in my hometown, coming back after a few years away. Uh, they're announcing stuff to be confirmed now. So... It's only really Thorpe Park, Alton Towers, Chessington and York Maze Hall and Scream unless they announce stuff. So that's the only prediction videos for Halloween. Maybe some of the America stuff as well. We, I, think I, said, I, think I, I think I said last year we're going to do some Halloween America predictions. Uh, so you might see me predict some Hall of Scream ones, some Halloween Horror Nights ones. Uh, so you can see some hopefully some predictions from that. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but for now guys, thank you very, very much for sticking with this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now guys, my name is Coach Child. Keep living the coast life and i'll see you guys next video very very soon take care guys have a celebratory tastic day get it celebrate events woohoo